Hey guys, I'll be with you in one second. Uh, I just thought it'd be fun to do a live stream quickly. Uh, also, if you can tell me if you can hear me, then that would be great. We'll get started in a minute. Oh, lots of people. Too many people. <laughs> okay, this is going mental. Okay, I'm going to start in a minute. Uh, but just, uh, just let me know if you can hear me. Hopefully you can. Hey guys, I'll be with you in one second. Uh, I just thought it... Okay guys, hello and welcome to a live stream that I haven't done for a very long time, actually. It's been... The last, the last live stream I did was Halloween. And that one, I think, scared a few people, which was good, because it was Halloween. That was the point of it. And I feel really guilty, because I haven't done one for a while. And we used to do them regularly, and uh, and everyone can hear me, so that's good. Uh, yeah, so I'm really sorry that it's been very kind of uh, sporadic with the live streams, but I'm glad that you guys have stuck around, and it's so good to see so many people here. This is awesome. So tonight, I just thought what I'd do is it's up, coming up to Christmas, and it's fun to watch movies and things like that, and I thought, let's watch one of the old FNAF movies. Now, this is the original FNAF movie that we did way back in 2016. It was for Halloween 2016. It didn't come out, the actual full movie, till April 2016, and I know a lot of you guys that are watching right now have seen a lot of the FNAF Versus kits. I'm sure that, that that a lot of you have seen that. Now, what a lot of you might not know is the FNAF versus kids was actually kind of just a little uh, gimmicky thing for my son and his cousins that kind of everyone seemed to like. So I've continued doing them. The original FNAF movie was based on a much darker kind of horror movie style. So if any of you want, uh, want to sort of, um, if any of you are a bit scared of horror movies then this may not be the thing to watch. But it's okay, because I'll be here. And um, I thought it'd be fun to react to it with you guys and talk you through some of the behind-the-scenes stuff and things that I got to while while we made that movie. Um, the chat's going quite kind of mad, so I, I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, answer all of your chat. If you do want, a, if you have a particular thing that you really need to be answered, there is a super chat thing, I think, that you can use. And unfortunately, you have to pay for it, but it will stick it up there, so I will be able to see it. Uh, but if not, that's, that's fine too. But I will try, I will do, Chris, I will do a little few shout outs in a second. Hang on a second. The other thing I wanted to say is there is now a shop as well, um, which is usually under, under the videos, where you can buy Bubblegum Monster t shirts. Now, I did get them to send me some. They were meant to send me loads, and they sent me one. So there we go. There's one at the moment where you can get I'm a Bubblegum Monster t shirt. Um, there's also pillows, mugs, just anything, basically, uh, that you can think of in the shop if you decide to buy something with your Christmas money then that would be great because that would allow me to make more of the stuff because this all takes a very long time to do this stuff doesn't this is easy the uh, the chat stuff um, and I really enjoy doing this this is where I can get to chat to you guys and we can all have a good laugh and you know I can see what you guys are thinking and, and saying um, but the movies take ages to do so anyway I will get on with we'll watch a FNAF movie in a second uh, couple of news updates as well. Or should we do the news updates after? Should we just watch it? Should we just get on with it? I know that's kind of more interesting. Okay, before we, before we start watching it, let's um, let's just see who's in here. So we've got, uh, is that Angel, Angel Avkirvlerg, as Asavidi, I can't pronounce your name, sorry. It says hi, hello. Uh, Goko Brazil, so I guess you're from Brazil. Dragon Game, I love Foxy, yeah, Foxy's cool. Uh, I can't even pronounce that. I think that's Russian grey bro. Hello, anyway. Uh, FNAF is cool. Something with the kids. Thank you. I, yeah, they're, they're fun little things. This is more of a bit of a dark thing. Um, so this is one of the original FNAF movies that you're about to see. Uh, so we're all going to sort of sit down, get some popcorn, and and watch this. So hopefully, and if the, hopefully the sound comes out on it as well. I've set it up so hopefully you can hear the sound of the movie. But let me tell you, um, tell me if there's any issues with it. More FNAF versus kids. There is more FNAF versus kids coming up, which is what I'm working on at the moment. I'm trying to get it out before Christmas. This one's a bigger one actually. It's got 
uh, three characters in it, and it's longer. And yeah, they're just getting bigger and bigger. They're getting they're almost the same size. This movie that you're about to watch, if you haven't seen it, took six months to make, and it's a bit scarier than the FNAF versus Kids. But it has all the characters in it. So if you haven't seen it, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Because I know the thing is, a lot of people watch the FNAF movies, uh, FNAF versus Kids movies, but they don't see the older stuff. So this is actually quite an old film now. It's like two years old. Um, but uh, at least uh, Hurley, shout out please. There you go, there's your shout out. I can't give everyone a shout out because it's going quite fast. But if you really want to shout out, uh, you're gonna to have to use the super chat because I just can't keep up with all the stuff going past it while I'm also watching the movie. Um, but with that said, let's, uh, let's get on and watch this movie. And like I say, it's a little bit scarier than the FNAF versus Kids. So um, if you are easily scared, then I suggest you either hide behind a pillow or don't watch it. But anyway, here we go. Let's uh, let's watch it together. So the, and it's twenty five minutes long, so it's a lot longer than FNAF vs Kids. So here we go. Uh, I try. I don't know. I'll talk through it a little bit. Uh, but this is obviously based more on the actual original game. We did take a few liberties. So there's a few little bits that aren't exactly like the game because you can't really make a film into a game doesn't really it doesn't really work like that you have to you have to write your own sort of ideas into it so this guy here is uh, Stuart's cousin who said he'd help us out with it and so and a lot of people get confused with this this he's the original security guard okay in FNAF in in the um, in the pizzeria and this is actually a just a restaurant down the road uh, I think it was a, was it a Frankie and Benny's, Frankie and Benny's restaurant. I snuck in there at night and filmed it, and I was worried that the police would turn up, but luckily they didn't. And then I just superimposed the thing on the top. Hello, yeah, my name's Mike. I was ringing up so, about the place for a so this is Stuart, who you may have you not, not, not he's not yeah, with the yeah, channel yeah, anymore, but he right. was up until about six months ago. And this. Uh, is Bill Chief from Bill's guy. channel. And also, uh, if nuts, mate, some of you might know Bill. Um, and yeah, so Bill is, he does like fact, well, real or fake, and we work with him sometimes, so he's kindly said he'll do this. So, uh, Brianna, no, uh, unfortunately, uh, I don't think Rebecca's available tonight. Between you and me, this is not going to be a problem because your shift starts at midnight. It's going to be over at So Bill kindly said that he'd, um, He'd help out, and he he didn't come over or anything. We filmed him online, like I am with you today, and he had a green screen behind him, and we just gave him the script, and Stuart acted out his lines, and then Bill acted out his lines with a green screen, and then we replaced the green screen with like an office. So a lot of people go, "Oh, did Bill come over and things like that?" But no, Bill was still in America because we we're in the UK. All you got to do is stop by the restaurant, see. Be interested to know what how many of you guys have actually watched the original FNAF movie actually. Make an indie and yeah, indie like bendy and think machine movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Oh, it's one thing, difficult one to do though. It's about the doors. They run off electricity. Be interesting now, to see how we could do that. Electricity one. goes off. Those doors will open automatically. Okay. So this is quite difficult to write as a script because when you think about it, the FNAF universe with the whole doors closing. Now, for any reason, doesn't really make sense. Like, why? Why would you have that in a, in a, in, a, in, a, in an office? Okay? But if that does happen, so we kind of, I kind of worry, wrote it almost a bit comical in a way. The magic number is six a.m. That's when the city power comes back on, and you'll be safe. Bill is an amazing actor. Says digital noise. He is. He did. A, he did it pretty much it first take. He was so good at it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. The, the office doors will, will open without power, and uh, six o'clock. I'll see you later, Listen, Brianna. Uh, but thanks for joining us very briefly. Do for me, and remember, don't let anything in, okay? Anything get in? KG Master, did I miss any, uh, something? No, we just what we're doing is no. we're just looking, we're just watching the movie together. Because I've never done this, I've never watched the movie Same with you guys, and because I haven't done a live stream for a long time, I thought it'd be really nice over Christmas to do these sort of things where we get to sort of join in and watch stuff that has been made before and also a lot of people probably haven't seen this actually because um, I know a lot of people subscribers have joined since this film was out and so haven't seen some of the older nope. stuff and this is quite old now it's like two years old FNAF part 2 says Phantom Fall yes that is 
a big possibility next year and it's one of those things I didn't want to rush um, and I've been so busy with just all the other stuff that I just wanted to get a good script but it's still it, it could be still work it could happen uh, Predator lives in Japan now that's cool but I've never been to Japan so as most of you guys probably know this is all CG obviously Stuart isn't um, but the all the characters were CG and this was actually in a hall just down the road from me literally about 10 minute walk down the road that uh, they kindly hide out to me and so yeah we had to that, that was actually a nightmare shot to super because I had to superimpose Stuart in front of the character and it took ages but it's quite funny actually watching the characters now because obviously with the kids stuff it's all a little bit more light hearted and comedy whereas in this it's quite dark like they're properly because when I watched when I played the game it was like it's, it's a dark film or a dark game it's like properly nasty animatronics they're not friendly and then there's all this other stuff where they're all friendly and I was like no they're definitely not friendly so I made the film more dark and more scary and it was for Halloween so I'm just reading your comments guys Nose hose. This movie is cool. Thank you. It was a. It was quite a, a labour of love for sure. Like I said, it took six months to make this. So here, the the set we built the set. It was actually in Stuart's uncle's back garden. That he's got like a what, this big shed at the back with a bit of space, and we built it all in there. In fact, I have got a video somewhere of us knocking it all down afterwards. But all the sets, but but the doors coming down were all computer. They were all computer graphics, and also the outside of the window that you can see. That's all out. All of that outside of the door is um, green screen with a uh, computer graphics. None of that's real. It was just the inside bit of the set that's real. Turn it up a little bit. Happy birthday, sir. I hope you like it. Epic man, don't be scared for it. I never got a bath. I'd probably be a bit irritable at night too. So remember, these are special place We shot this um over this sort of time of year and it was absolutely freezing. There was no there was no heating in that place at all. So a lot of times we could see our breath. Is that the time already? I'm gonna get myself a coffee. And also we shot it in four parts, so that was the first part, and then I joined them all together at the end. The idea was always going to be one big long film, but because of the time it was taking, I wanted to get this film out quicker, so I kept putting it into parts. So that was the first part, and now this would, in theory, be the second part of the film. I'm trying to think of a fun fact that happened in the kitchen, but I can't think of anything. Yeah, so the colour of Bonnie looks more like blue rather than purple, says SFM man. That's true. The reason why was because it was meant to be after the fire. So the idea was it was a bit tattered and the way they layer up paint sometimes is you layer up one colour and then another colour. And so the idea was it all come off and it was all like blue and peeled off. That was the kind of idea behind that. The characters, says Phantom 4, how long did it take to make the FNAF characters? Each one probably took about a week to make, I'd say. It was the, it was the animations that took a long time, actually. It was the animations of it all. And also, simple things. Like, for example, that TV that you can see now. Uh, in fact, you, and I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm ahead of myself here. I should be looking at the screen. So when Stuart's in the office, he sits in front of that monitor screen. All the stuff on the monitor was superimposed. So when Stuart was in front of it, I had to cut, I had to cut Stuart out.
So like here, where the screen now is in front of Stuart. Please be aware that. I had to actually then be aware that change what? that so that he. In fact, I'm trying to work out which which one of your you guys are in sync with with me. I think I should be looking. Oh, I should be looking at this one. Yeah, this one here. So all the all the stuff of the TV. He would be um, put in front of it. I had to cut him out and put him back in. Sort of, it took ages. So just these office shots took weeks, weeks and weeks to do. The trailers and movies has just given a, an amazing donation of five dollars, guys. Thank you so much. And for doing that, trailers and movies, I will send you a very personal digital poster of the FMAF movie, a signed copy over to you for that excellent donation because that is awesome. Actually, that's some, some, something I should mention. If you're gonna do a, a, um, a super chat, I will give anyone that gives me a super chat, I will give you a digital signed poster. Um, if you give, if it's over $25, I will send you personally, I'll tell you what I will send you. I will send you a bubblegum monsters badge, which is very rare actually. We've only done about eight of them, I think. So that was a very, very kind donation. Thank you very much. Hello. Getting tied up here on the on the headphones. And yes, uh, to answer your question, trailers and movies. Uh, can you do a part two or five nights of Freddy's? He says, or she says, I'm not sure. Um, yes, there is actually a script. Believe it or not, there is a script. It's just trying to get the time to do that is uh, is crazy. But next year. Things are changing up a bit next year, and that is one of the things that is a tick box on the list is to do the sequel or a prequel. It could be a prequel. Did you make your own story to FNAF to make your I FNAF movies? Yeah, it was all written. I had to write the script, yeah. And it was tricky because it's a game, and to write a script around the game is always tricky because you want to try and please the game fans, but at the same time, it's got to, in a structure of a film, it's got to make sense as well. And one of the things actually, which is quite interesting, when we first wrote it or when I first wrote it I had all the dolls and stuff coming down but I suddenly realized that from an outside point of view if you'd never watched the or never played the games it didn't make any sense why there were these these doors that would close when there was no power it just didn't make any sense so I had to then explain that's just where Bill at the beginning that's kind of the um, explaining of what's going to happen and, and why there are these weird things that you have to do with the doors and stuff like that so it was quite it was quite tricky it was this just sudden realization that actually the game doesn't really make sense please make a FNAF 4 well, actually if there is a sequel which I'm trying to do there are elements of FNAF 4 in it make a FNAF 5 movie please I'll be I'll be here for the rest oh, of my right. life making these if you don't want to get hurt you better come out now I really like this scene. This is actually what I think is probably my favourite scene in the whole film. I just liked the tension on it and the fact that you didn't know what was going to happen next. And I always thought, I actually got this idea from um, there's a horror film called Event Horizon, and there's a bit where it just goes completely black, and you just know as soon as it comes back on, something's going to be closer. Uh, but a lot of people have since then. A lot of people have mentioned the uh, is it the Dark Angels or I can't remember what they're called in Doctor Who, or Whispering Angels. I can't remember what they're called, but yeah, it's similar to that as well. And, uh, and the other thing people mention, I let this. It's really loud. At So the other thing other pe people mention is that um, Chica's got the sound of a hawk, and that's true, it was. Because another thing people forget is this was a really rushed film. It wasn't like, you know, it had plenty of time. I just tried to rush it out for Halloween. So I was just picking up sounds and just trying to chuck it together. And of course, it was only that since then, actually, I realised that Chica was a chicken, not, not a, like a other type of bird, but anyway. So this bit, actually this is, this is my favourite bit. It's the tension, and I wanted this tension to grow and grow to the point where it was unbearable. And then I had this idea of introducing the dead body 
so he's literally stuck between, well not literally, but he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Now people mention, thank you Alisa Hurley, Ale is that Lisa? People mention about this, this, this body, they go, who's, who's the body? Well the body is the original security guard that you saw at the beginning of the film, and so people get confused, but that's the that was the original security guard who obviously didn't survive the five nights, and he ended up there, and I thought, originally had his eyes completely gone, but I suddenly thought, no, because when they're in the suits, it, their eyes and tongue are the only thing, or teeth stick out, so I kept his eyes in, and that's where I got the idea of the eye popping out, and that's all, actually it's all, actually that's another interesting thing is um, that's all CG. So everything you saw there was computer graphics with the with the body. But it actually was um, Stuart's cousin and we put some blood on him but it looked rubbish so in the end I just went with CG. But then he couldn't get the blood off, it stained his face for about a week. <laughs> And that, that camera thing is actually an old, just a, an old uh, video mixer. People love that line. Shit. I should make that into a t-shirt, shouldn't I? Go and stare someone else, you oh, Disney reject. Get any worse. Thank you, Billy Bob. Oh, come on. What I love is the fact that a lot of you guys haven't seen this and it's been on the channel Did you just for two years and it, lots of people haven't seen it. So this is why I thought I'd do this because gotcha. it's cool to okay. get everyone's reactions. No, I've seen this before, so it's Galaxy Unsell, that's great. Uh, glad you've seen it. But have you, I'm trying to give you a few insights into how it was made as well. So hopefully you'll learn a few bits as well. Gotcha. Star the Wolf, this movie gives me the chills. That's good to hear because that's kind of was the idea for it. Also, the map's, the map's actually a unique map. It's not actually it's similar to the actual FNAF one, but I had to add an exit to it because there's no exit in the actual map. And obviously he needs to escape, so he's looking at how to escape, so I had to add a little extra bit to it. Trailer and movies, because now, trailer and movies, you're awesome. Can you do a Slender Man movie? Yes, that is another one that actually was in the works, but will probably be, have to be redone. But a Slender Man movie is definitely... Uh, something that, that I would love to do because that is very interesting to me but next year I will also be doing some very unique movies that if you're following the advent calendar on the community page there is a lot of clues into what might work well, it's not really it's not a massive clue but it's a hint of what's to come next year so that's a very good question and thank you so much for your donation again uh, of three hit three ninety nine dollars that is awesome that's the trailers and movies uh, if you've got a if also if you've got a channel on youtube um then i will let everyone know that trailers and movies has got a channel on youtube to check out thank you so much for your donation there is already a slender man movie says sfm man yes but everything's unique um there's a few slender man movies so i think uh, there's a lot of fnaf movies out there as well but this is obviously our take on the fnaf movie and so everyone has something to say and has a different, uh, unique vision. And so remember, if you want your comments answered, uh, remember to use the super chat because I can't see them all because I'm watching the movie and everything like that. And the only time I see it is when something comes up and sticks. And if you donate over $25, you will get a... Got one there your very own Bubblegum Monsters badge, which there's only about 10 in existence at the moment, so very, 
Very special. And if you want a shout out as well, remember to use the super chat. So this took ages as well because we had to set out all these tables every night we filmed and it took about an hour just to set out the tables. It's quite funny watching it back, I really hate Chica's voice now, but at the time it was just it had to do. So this was all shot in one place actually, which is the big town hall. And it had this basement bit as well, which was great because it was always a little bit creepy. And it's funny because people say, who puts two padlocks on something? But that actually was what was on that door. There was actually two padlocks on it. It's so funny watching it back because so much of this was like at one o'clock in the morning and we just had to get stuff finished. So this was meant to be a longer scene where we hid from Freddy and stuff and we just didn't have time to do it, which is a shame, but that's the reality of doing this stuff. seconds Sorry guys, I'm just, wa I'm just watching it at the moment because I want to let you experience the end bit if you haven't seen it. So there's a bit coming up in a minute that's got great controversial sort of um, debate about it. But I'll, let, I'll watch it through and I'll explain it in a minute. Where's Foxy?
Okay, so the foxy thing, people go, uh, the shot's done at 6am, he should have survived. And that's true. Oh, forgot about the jump scare. But, um, there is always a, also like artistic license, and because it was a film, we wanted to have that kind of surprise at the end. And also, you could argue that because Foxy got trapped into the office, he had uh, an override system because he was in the office. So there's always an excuse you can come up with, but there's a lot of people got angry for the fact that Foxy was still active after 6am. But that's our reasoning behind it. Now, a lot of people, I saw, I can't see the chat at the moment, but people were saying, um, why, uh, why is Springtrap on the thumbnail at the moment? Now, I thought it would be fun not to use just do the FNAF movie, but also to do the Joy of Creation movie that we did, which you may not have seen as well. So this was a bit later. This was last year. Uh, oh, well, trailers... Oh, hang on a sec. I've got to say, trailers and movies, you get yourself a bubblegum monster badge. That is absolutely amazing that you have uh, donated that amount of money. That is over $24 in t total, so you get your own. You know, and uh, this is very unique, this badge, actually, because literally, like I said, there's about 10 people that have actually got one of these badges at the moment. So you, you are one of very few in the world that will have your own Bubblegum Monster badge. But what you will need to do is send us a, um, an email address. Uh, send us by email your your uh, actual address so we can post this to you. Uh, but a thank you for saying I'm your favourite YouTuber. That means, that means a hell of a lot. I uh, really, really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you have a YouTube channel, remember to check out the Trailers and Movies YouTube channel. Or if you have a blog or anything else, remember to check out Trailers and Movies because they are awesome. Uh, we'll get back to you as well uh, later on. But let's watch the movies. But thank you very much. So this is Joy of Creation now. And actually, what's interesting about Joy of Creation is that they are the actual... They are the actual animatronics from Joy of Creation. The, I've forgotten his name now, the guy who made Joy of Creation gave us the models for me to animate and put into the film. So they are the actual ones from the game. And also there's a poster in this, which I've got here actually. Here we go. That is actually from the game. That's the actual original image. I printed it up. Still, I'm still really pleased about trailers and movies. That's so awesome. Thank you so much. So this is a guy called Dan. Really, really, really nice guy. Uh, we got him just off uh, an acting website, and uh, he did such a good job. It was over. I think we did this over three nights. Um, that's actually my bedroom. <laughs> And I had to transform it into the office. And that was a massive light outside, which I operated by radio remote control to take the light in. But yeah, it'd be interesting to know how many of you guys have actually seen the um, the Joy of Creation film, I'm not sure. But again, guys, if you want to comment, if you want to comment, remember, to use the super chat because I can't take comments at the moment because I watch the film and like the trailers and movies has done he's done some amazing donations and uh, that's the only way I can really get to see the the chat at the moment So this was actually part two, actually, of, uh, uh, we, we did two parts. One with Iron Horse, I don't know if you guys have heard of Iron Horse Cinema, but they did the first part, and this is the second part, which actually I should have explained, because it doesn't make much sense on its own. But it is a segment from the game Joy of Creation.
And those blinds aren't actually in my room. We just attached them with tape. I mean, you can see them actually like cable ties at the top. I'm sort of ruining the film actually by giving it all away. Unfortunately, he died. Quickly, another uh, donation. Thank you so much to Oz Builder Massey, who is one of our, well, a, a kind of original subscribers, been with us for a long time, and that's very, very much appreciated. Uh, it's really good to see you again. I'm sorry I haven't done all the live chats that I've been doing in the past. Next year, I'm going to try and do them more regularly every week again, so that will be back. Um, and thank you so much, Oz Builder uh, Massey, for your donation of five. Uh, five is it euros or dollars either way that's brilliant thank you so much and remember if you donate over 25 dollars you get a badge and that is a very rare thing like, literally we've only had one person so far that's the trailers and movies who has donated uh, i think it's well over 24 i think it's like 28 dollars or something I, I can't say how much i appreciate that it really does help and it goes to these sort of films which always cost money to hire actors and to do the effects, it just takes a lot of time. So I really do appreciate all of the, all of the donations you guys are giving. So finally, this. So I, I tried to put all of the films together that were kind of a bit darker, and some of you guys may not have seen. So people saying about Springtrap, this one features Springtrap, and actually features two girls from next door. So consider none of the people, like apart from Dan, none of the other people in these films are actors. Okay. Um, and I think they did a great job. They're only, I think they're only eight, and they're not acting. They're not actors. Um, and so they did. We did. I think we shot this over about four hours, uh, just in the local woods, and they did such a great job of it. This was at Easter, so I, I, I know a lot of you guys may have seen this, but some of you may not have. Look, there's another. You shouldn't go that far. It's too dangerous. Well, that means more eggs for me. Arabella! I've got another one. Arabella, don't go that far. Wow. Oz Builder Master, you didn't have to do that. Seriously, guys, when I say it's 25, you don't have to get a badge. It's just because I really do appreciate everything you guys are doing. I offer the badges and you've just donated $25. And she said, I wanted to buy a badge anyways. That That is beyond generous. I. So what you need to do is you need to send your, um, your name and your uh, details for postage so that I can post it out to you. It's the same goes for the trailers and movies. Both of you have got to send via the email address to if you look on the bubblegum monster channel it'll have on the uh, about i think it is the email address um and you post it to them you can post it bubblegum monster at gmail but it gets so many emails you're better off posting it to the address that you get on the on the business link and i will post you out the badges i will get in i will i'm not sure if you've got um if, you, if you've got a, a youtube channel i'll get in contact with you there but either bubblegum monsters at gmail 
or on the business uh, on the link on the channel um, I will then send out the badges I don't think you'll get them before Christmas unfortunately but they will go out as soon as um, as soon as I get your addresses thank you very much guys so this is the first thing first film I did with Springtrap and Springtrap took a while to make he, he took a good good few weeks there's a lot of detail in it The good news is he features in the next FNAF vs Kids quite a lot. And this is, this is the first drone shot, because I bought a drone, so I was like, I've got to use it, so it's like, get a high shot of it. Quite good, isn't she? She's quite a good little actor. This shot actually took quite a while to do because I had to use the drone backwards. I had to reverse it out and and have it fly up into the air. Um, so yeah, but I was quite pleased with. I was actually quite pleased with how this came out. And actually, those girls at the end, I had to because we were trying to get out on a certain day, there was no one to do it, so we had to get the next door neighbour's friend who was away on holiday to record it and send it over, which was just bonkers, but there you go. So that's the kind of thing that goes into these films, it's just complete madness, but somehow they seem to come together quite a lot. Um, and that's that, guys, for now. That's, um, oh, hang on, where, where am I? Let me go back to me. Yeah, so uh, thank you again for the, the two people that have donated um, their money, which was Oz Builder uh, Massey, is it is Massey? And was it Trailers? I can't remember, sorry, I can't remember your name. It was Trailers and Movies, I think it was. Can I see who's donated? I'll be able to tell you who it is. Uh, let me see. I can't see your name again now. Uh, but both of them have donated some amazing amount of money, so I really do appreciate that. And that will go straight back into making more of these films, which is good. So next year, there will be um, more FNAF stuff, more FNAF versus Kids, but more of these, uh, potentially a FNAF sequel, but also some other uh, exciting stuff going on, which is more sort of um, original, um, which you call original IP, like original characters that are my characters. And you'll start seeing more of that sort of stuff going on as well. But hey, let's just um, let's just have a quick uh, Q and A then, and just see what you guys have been saying. So sorry, I haven't been able to uh, actually chat to you guys, but we were watching the movie, and I was only going to answer the ones that I saw as a super chat because they come up as a big alert, and people donate money, they deserve attention. Um, but now let's just chat to everyone. Let's see what's going on. Hi, I can't donate, so pop up, okay. Look, it's not like you have to donate, okay? I, it's not like I'm I'm just gonna not uh, chat to everyone. It was just at that point in time that it was um, one of those things that I just didn't have time to chat to um, anyone. And you don't have to donate. If you wanna donate, that's great. If you can't donate, that's great as well. What I just love is having a community and being able to chat to you guys because I do really appreciate you all being here, uh, if, if, if you donate or not. Is the stream ending already, says Blackhood? Well, no, we'll do a quick Q&A for another five minutes or so um, because I, like I said, I haven't done one for ages and it's just nice to chat to you guys. 
Puppy Vines, hi a sub, thank you Puppy Vines, very much appreciated. Black Hood, hey Peter, have you looked up Delta Ruin? Yes, I did look up um, Delta Ruin. I think, I don't know if you answered my question, Black Hood, about, because it's based off of, um, oh God, I've forgotten the game now, the original game, and you apparently have to play that to then appreciate the next game, or for the next game to make sense. So I didn't know, here's a question to you guys now. Um, Oh, let's no, 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 do the question. So the question: Would you do you want to see uh, more game play? Do you, uh, what they're called um, playthroughs? Like uh, uh, there's another name for it, isn't it? Do you want to see more of that sort of stuff? Because I'm quite happy to do that, but I don't want to bore you guys with me playing games. But I quite like playing games, and if you want to see that, then that's fine. I'll do that. We make an episode of bloopers for the films. Do you know what? That's a good idea. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, there probably is a few. It's probably me just swearing at people trying to get them to do what I want them to do. Not the kids, but Stuart probably. I uh, probably uh, There's probably a few of me having to go at everyone. Peter, you should make a miniature models of these FNAF carrots and put them on the shelves in the back. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because we have got... Well, I did have... No, actually, I gave it away with the withered Freddy. Uh, but that wasn't in the in the film. But yeah, you're right. I should try and do that a bit more. Hey, Peter, I have an important question to tell you. So, Digital Astray. Hey, good to see you, Digital Astray. Uh, go ahead. What's your important question? It's more gameplay playthroughs, says Black Curve. Okay, that's cool. So, you want to do the Jew... Uh, what are what, 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 terrible names, aren't I? The uh, Delta Rune. Uh, but I... What's... Uh, what, I, my brain's gone. What's the first game? What's it based off of? I can't remember. Uh, oh my god, he read my question, says Baby Buddy. Yeah, I, I, I do try to read questions. It's just that sometimes they flash up fast, and I'm really sorry if, if I miss them, which is what these super chat things for. I would love to see games on the channel. Also, could you react to My Secrets of the Demon? I see, please. Uh, I would love to do reactions, because I do love, and I do watch people's stuff. It's just that I am just lit so busy making these films that it's crazy. Um... Osborne Massey has just donated another amount. Please don't make yourself poor, especially over Christmas. Uh, but thank you very much. And he says, uh, do you watch Bohemian Rhapsody? Bohemian Rhapsody? Do you, did you watch? Oh, no, I haven't seen it yet. I really want to see it. really want to see it. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Business email. So if you go to, uh, let me just check. If you go to the channel, the actual main channel on Bubblegum Monsters, and you go to um, let me go to my channel and go to about. I think it's on about. Yes, if you go to the about on the top tab of the channel, it's Undertale. So that's it. Yeah, if you go to the about on the channel, you will see a biz uh, for business inquiries. Click on that, and it will give you uh, an email address, and that one gets less spam. Okay, because. The channel at the moment is, is it goes crazy sometimes. Like literally, like there's like 150,000 views an hour sometimes, and it's just it's like I just can't keep up with all the emails. So that's really the only way you can get like that. I will see your email now. Really, it's, I mean this is the thing. It's like I remember like trying to get in contact with people, other YouTubers, and they just wouldn't respond. I was like, well, how rude! <laughs> how rude you don't not respond it. But the thing is. It's so, you just don't see the the main email, you just don't see them, unless you have a particular, I, if you're gonna do it on at Gmail, um, then put badge in the title, but the problem with that is then, there, I might get a load of people going badge, just hoping to get a badge, so it, it, just do it through the through that business thing, and explain what, you know, who you are and everything, and I'll, I'll remember it then. Uh, please make a part two of real life spring trap, please. I need to know what happened to the two girls. Please make, I need to know what happened, it says, P.S. P.S. P. Squiddy 06. Uh, yeah. I d actually, that film was going to have a, a little bit extra on it, but I just didn't have time to film it. So maybe... In fact, I've got a really new, cool uh, rig for... You won't know what rig is, but a, a new spring trap model that animates really well now. And uh, you'll have to check that out, because, yeah, it, it does really... So maybe I'll do a film on that. Blackhead, if you want to get Delta Rune, it's free on the Delta Rune. Yeah, I, I did see. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if I need to play Undertale first. SFM and Peter, do you want a FNAF post? I can send it, and if you want, you can print it out. Um, yeah, if you want to if you want to send me, a, obviously don't send it via post, because I don't want you spending money, but yeah, if you want to send me a um, 
a digital thing again put it into the the one on the about thing or, or the business one because i'll get that yeah so um yeah and then i'll, I'll print that out and put it up yeah because i need more stuff black hood but if you haven't played Undertale, play it first before Delta Rune. So do you think I should play um, Undertale first of all, or live, or uh, is everyone bored of that? Like everyone's watched it and they're like, oh, no, "There's going to be another play person playing Undertale. We don't need that." What do you reckon? Uh, gotcha, Alex. I'm late. Please answer me. There you go. Uh, I've answered you. Blanca Livano. Bye bye. Thanks for joining. So yeah, it'd be interesting to know if people want me to play Under Tower first, but, or is it like it's too old, don't bother something. No problem, Puppy Vines. I also didn't get the FNAF poster I won last year. You still haven't got that. Was it a digital one? Because we we did stop doing the poster for that reason because we put them in the post and people wouldn't wouldn't get them all the time, um, and which is why we've cut down on just stuff that when people took kind of we're not just giving away prizes now. It's more if people pay for it. Uh, yeah, play Undertale live. Okay. I, 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 I'm happy to do that, yeah. The real life Spring Break beer is canon to my FNAF fan game. Really? Oh, cool. That's interesting to me. Do you, do you know where Stuart is? It's been a while since to be heard of him. Did you write, is, that, is that your important question? Yes. Uh, Stuart, unfortunately, is not involved with Bubblegum Monsters anymore. It was um, basically just the times that we could work together and the fact that he just didn't have the time to put into the channel uh, whereas I'm kind of one of those people can put nearly 100% into it unfortunately Stuart couldn't so it was, it was kind of best that he didn't carry on with that um, unfortunately you can get Undertale on Steam cool I will do that first time I get noticed on the live stream says Getcha I will thank I, I try to answer but I know it's, it's going really fast and um, I'm glad I'm glad I managed to um, spot you uh okay so i think that's that's it for now guys um i will do another one of these if you like these sort of things i'll do another one and we'll do one with the because i know a lot of guys like the fnaf versus kids we'll do a collection of them for like we'll do a collection of maybe them and some i like to put some of the older videos that you guys have never seen before uh together as well and we'll do some reactions of them over up until the new year we'll do like a new year countdown kind of thing um and uh and yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. So finally, quick question. Phantom 4, what is your favourite movie that you have made? My favourite... Mm, depends on... Uh, there's the outcome, the final movie, and there's the how easy it was to do or how enjoyable it was to make. There's two kind of things to that. So the FNAF movie is probably the one I get the most reward from, from seeing people's reactions because they get quite scared. It's quite good. But it was a pain in the ass to make. It took six months and it was hard. You know, it was a hard slog um the best sort of quickest movie was again a lot of you guys probably haven't seen it but it was a clown one scary clown i can't remember what it's called down on the channel and that one was easy to make it took a couple of days and it came out really well it was only short but it was a cool little movie please please answer popo loco popo um yeah if you can tell me what it is i don't know what you want me to answer thank you uh the new rig is awesome says Seth. oh you saw the i did a little story thing i just showed it uh, it really animates really well it's change spring trap inside peter please change spring traps inside peter please friends forever yeah it's just it took ages to make it so i don't know if i've got time but he has changed a little bit actually in the new one what's your fab fnaf animatronic in fnaf uh chica uh, I ha I made FNAF drawings on Instagram. If you want, I can send you them. Yeah, send them. For, if, like I said, I get a lot of emails, so I might not see them, but I will try to see them if I can. Well, was it worth it? Well, was it worth it for... Yeah, it's all been worth it. It's all been worth it. It always is. And it's, again, see, well, the fact that there's so many people subscribe to the channel as well just means so much. The fact that that effort has paid off, and it is a lot of effort. It's... A, it's like I'm up till like sometimes three in the morning doing these things. So it to see you guys reacting to it just is amazing. And what's even more amazing, and I can't believe he has done it again. It's trailers and movies, and he's put in. He has got a YouTube channel, so I would recommend. And this sounds awesome. Trailers and movies. So I'm sure he's got some trailers and movies. I'd love to know if he makes himself or there are trailers based on movies coming up, which I always like to watch as well. But I would highly recommend. You check out his channel because it does sound very good. I haven't actually checked it out myself, but 
I will be checking it out because he's donated or she has donated so much. I don't know if it's he or she. Uh, but thank you so much again for another donation. You really shouldn't be donating all your money. It's, it makes me feel really guilty. I'm one of those people I just don't like that. But it does go to, I guess, a good cause that it entertains you guys. So it goes back, I guess, to you guys. So that's uh, that's a good thing, right? Um, you like a friend to me, Peter, says Blackhead. Uh, Blackhead, you're like a friend to me. I always see you, and it's always good to see you as well. And all you up guys, and all the new people as well. So many people coming in. Uh, that's what I just love about the community thing. And that's why I really f felt guilty that I haven't had time to do these community live streams, because it's always good to hear from you guys. Um, and I, like I said, will be trying to do more of them in the, in the new year. I plan on starting my channel soon. Do it, Blackhead. There's no time like the present. You should do it as soon as you can. Don't be scared. Just get going. Just do it. Just do it. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of hard work. If you want to do it seriously, it's a lot of hard work. It's it's a job. It's a job. It's not... Yeah, you know, people see YouTubers as, as like this easy life. It's not. It's not easy at all. It's hard. And I don't think even if you're... I think it doesn't get any easier. I mean, obviously, these massive YouTubers get a lot of money and that's all good but I think in a way it gets harder because then they've got the fame to deal with as well which sounds like a nice thing but I don't think being famous is generally a good thing a lot of the time I think you can't even go outside your front door I mean if you guys have ever seen Logan Paul and uh, no Jake Paul's the Team 10 stuff and it's not like I can't get out of the house I just think oh, that'd be horrible Digital Ashtray Peter I was wondering do you know when the FNAF Part 3 with Springtrap and Foxy versus Kids comes out yes I uh, um, I'm trying for next week, but it's proving to be hard to do because there is so much to it, and there's more characters, it's, it's longer, and uh, it's been that one. Yeah, I'm trying, and that's why I haven't been doing these community things and chatting to you guys because I'm just literally just trying to get everything done. But it will be out hopefully before Christmas. Can you do a Five Nights at Freddy's live stream like you play Five Nights at Freddy's the whole live stream? Do you know what? I'm rubbish at Five Nights at Freddy's. I could do it, um, but I'd be terrible at it. But I, maybe. It does seem like a lot of people want me to play games, so I'll, I'll start trying to do some of this stuff. I've got a friend to support me, including you, Peter. Blackhead, that, yeah, everyone needs friends. I mean, that's the thing. I know a lot of people, especially in this day and age, people sit on their computer all day and rely on this sort of stuff, which is good. But I recommend, if you are one of those people that sits on your computer all day, every day, get out talk to people because even though it's hard to do <laughs> the more you do it the easier it gets just uh i think we all need someone we all need to be able to sort of frustrations and things like that be able to talk to other people and it's very important and it's one thing talking to people but through a camera which i really do enjoy but talking to a real person in the real life is also very very important so guys do that as well um you should do a, a live type fun time fun time freddy fun time freddy there's so many pe things people want. people want golden freddy they want um uh, like all of the uh, all the ones from sister location they want twisted ones it's just really hard like i said it takes about a week to make one character and then you've got to animate it and then you've got to put it into the film that you've made so over like i said that from that film it took six months so it i i try and get through them but it, it's difficult to try and get everything uh, all of them done Peter, I emailed you twice as FFM man. Did you do it? I don't know who, if you did it through Bubblegum once at Gmail, I may not have seen it because there's just so many emails now. Uh, but make sure you do it through uh, the one on the about, the business one, and then I'll see it. Do I find versus four if where Chief comes in after and kicks their asses? Well, you might get your you might, your wish make may come true, Poppy Vines. You never know. Uh, did you rush right? Peter, also, I have a theory on part three of the Springtrap versus Kid. Do you think that Springtrap is using Foxy? Your wish might come true, <laughs> Digital Ashtray. It seems like I'm, at least I'm doing things right for the next the next film, by the sounds of it. So that's good. Would you rather a fight 100 chicken-sized petters? I don't even know what petters is. Or 100 petters-sized chickens. What's a petter? Petters. Am I being stupid? I don't know what petter is. I'm going to do anim animations, collabs, and remix. But yeah, you sh yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Animation's going to take you a lot longer to do. Do collabs, though, that will really help. And um, and don't be um, deterred by the fact that when you first release videos, you probably won't get many views. Because the first video that I released uh, was a robot walking down the road. And after a week, I think it had about 80 views. So 
don't ever be deterred by views. Don't ever go because it's not really. It's it, you've got to do something you love. At the end of the day, that's that, that's the key thing. And ten subscribers is just as as important or just as uh, rewarding as a million subscribers because there's still people. That means that still people want to watch you, no matter how small. There are people that have, have, have joined you because they believe in what you're doing, which means so much. Uh, guys, it's now half past eight and I still haven't eaten yet, so I need to get something to eat. Um, so I'm going to unfortunately have to say goodbye, but it has been a, an enormous pleasure seeing you guys again. And like I say, it is like a little family to me. I love I love chatting to you guys and I really do miss it. And so we will be trying to do the weekly um, uh, live streams again and maybe we'll mix it up with some games, bubblegum monster, we'll do, we'll, we'll do it again because I do love doing this. Um, but I probably won't see you before Christmas, um, so I, I will wish you all a Merry Christmas now, and uh, and have a lovely time. I hope Father Christmas brings you, or Santa Claus if you're in America, brings you what you wished for. Um, but I will see you before the New Year, and so then we will have another little chat and another little react videos, and that'd be cool. And hopefully there'll be a few more videos that have come out. Um, in between that time but until then I afraid guys I'm going to have to say um, good night so until then bye for now <laughs>